Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Noelle and I do unboxings here. Mostly lifestyle subscription boxes, but also some stationery, books, beauty, jewelry, and even a dash of Disney. So if you like unboxings, I do hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell. If you're already subscribed, thank you so much for your continued support. I truly, truly appreciate it. I still do have one subscriber appreciation box to give away when we hit 950 subscribers, so definitely check that video out. I will leave the link for that above and then also below, and then that will mean that we are right around the corner from 1,000 subscribers, which has been a goal of mine ever since I started the channel, and I will definitely be doing something fun to celebrate that as well. Now today I've got a familiar box on this channel. It is Anchor of Hope, and it comes in this beautiful little blue box. Anchor of Hope is $36 per month and that does include the shipping. If you'd like to save a little bit, you can actually do a three month subscription, which brings it down to about $33 per month, which is what I usually do. And if you want to use my code, which is Noel 10 I'll leave that in the description below as well, you can save 10%. So you can get a pretty good deal on this box that has a very, very great cause. So full disclosure, I do usually pre-score the boxes, which means I cut the tape just so that I can save some time and noise when I'm making these videos, because I do single take videos. Videos. but when I opened up the box this month I did find that I was missing the usual product sheet so they usually have a nice kind of half half paper in there that tells us on one side all about the organization and then on the other side about the three items that are in the box so I reached out to them and they were kind enough to send me a digital version so I have that on the side printed out so just so you're wondering why it looks a little bit different this this month that is why but inside when you open up the box it is this beautiful teal tissue paper with a nice gold heart. Before we get into the actual three items for this month, let's actually read a little bit about the organization. So that's the wrong sheet, here we go. Who we are, we are a subscription box company that commissions refugees, survivors of human trafficking, and others in vulnerable situations to make handmade items. Through the dignity of work, these individuals are able to rebuild damaged and fragile lives as they work to overcome the painful situations that have brought them to this place. As we embarked on this adventure, aiming only to provide an income for these precious families, we saw something much greater start to happen. Through the relationships that have been building, we see the power of community happen. As people all over the world desire and purchase these handmade items, Items, we see hope arising. It is a beautiful thing. What we do, we meet monthly with a group of local women, teaching them a new skill every month and paying them for their hard work. We also scour the globe looking for other organizations doing the exact same thing so we can include them in the box as well. Some of these artisans are survivors of sex trafficking in India and Asia. Some are women in Haiti that desperately need work in order to keep their daughters in school, the best way to keep them from being kidnapped and trafficked. Some are organizations that teach refugee women relocated to the US the skill of sewing or jewelry making so they can provide provide for their families. We strive to provide you with quality products from various artisans and multiple organizations in order that more and more hope would be spread throughout the world. And they do have an awesome store online that has some of the items that have appeared in the boxes as well as additional items made by the same artisans. Sometimes you will see items in here that are by kind of known companies like um, Modern Boomi sometimes has appeared in Anchor of Hope and they have appeared in other subscription boxes with good global causes like Causebox, for example, or Globe In. So you are getting quality products as well as the ones that are being made uh, locally here in the U.S. by those refugees, by those families that they are teaching those skills to. So let's get into it and see what we've got. I'm just going to flip to my other page that has all of the product information. So they do do some spoilers over on Instagram, so definitely check them out over there as well. Um, I know that the jewelry piece this month is really, really gorgeous, but it comes like there's actually a set that matches, and I love, love, love the earrings and the cuff bracelet that go with it. So I will probably be checking out their store here very, very soon. So let's go ahead and start with the little item that I didn't know about that's kind of floating around in here. So let me show it to you. It's just this like wood labyrinth like game, right? Where you've got the little balls and then you have to like kind of tip it so it goes into the little slots. I can't really do it on camera, right? Cause I can't get the balls to go up at the top. It says that it is made in India, but this is just kind of like a fun little like tchotchke thing that you could have, you know, sitting on your on your coffee table, something to occupy someone. I'm not really sure what the goal is since there's three balls. Like I guess if you had one, you could get it all the way through the maze, but I don't know if you're supposed to get all three through. Maybe that's like the hard part about it. So it says, this is a carved wood labyrinth, this fun labyrinth game by Modern Boomi, funny 
and funny enough, is made from ethically sourced wood by artisans in North Central India. Literacy rates and income opportunities are limited in this area, so woodcraft production is vital for community livelihoods. The skilled craftsmanship of artists is essential for sustainable income generation. Skills development and raw material allocation and their hard work creates self-sufficiency within their communities. So this is a fun little item. I don't know that it's like necessarily worth a third of the box, but it is beautiful. And I could see like kind of adding it to a gift basket or like I said, just kind of having it out on your coffee table, something to uh, fidget with. It's like the original fidget spinner, which I'm kind of happy that those have like gone by the wayside. Now let's get into some of the other items that I did see the spoilers for. And you would have thought that since I did get to print that information card out that I would have actually read it before getting on camera and I totally didn't. <laughs> so much for preparing. I actually really love when companies give us spoilers and I'll have like really active Facebook groups because I feel like it allows me to be prepared to share the products and the different variations, if there are variations, a little bit better with you. So um, that's just like my plug to have subscription companies have more active social media accounts so that I can do better unboxings to share with all of you guys. All right, here we go. I'm using my scissors to get into the bubble wrap because so often I just like fiddle around with the bubble wrap and just rip it, um, which I know is satisfying for me because then I get to pop more of the bubbles, but probably frustrating for you guys but it is wrapped up really nicely, which I appreciate. And then it is this gorgeous bowl. And I saw some of these, I think on Globin a while ago, they were much bigger, but they were like a combination of like a hard bowl and then these like woven pieces. And I just love the effect of mixing these textiles. So it's just got like three little feet on the bottom. I'm not sure if that's like ceramic, it kinda, I guess it sounds ceramic, but it's like nice and natural. And then it's got these cords that are like stitched on there so I think this is gorgeous I love this this is a really fun size I have lots of trinket dishes and bowls but most of them aren't this big but this would be a really good size for like your keys um, I don't think I would use it as a snack dish just because it does have this like material here on the top and it actually looks like it's like I think it's actually like natural like reeds that are in there and then wrapped in this in this twine so some of mine had kind of gotten squished down on the bottom so I'm just gonna kind of reshape that and put them on top I think this is a lovely piece let's read a little bit about it and I think it came in different color variations but you guys know me I'm pretty basic I like my neutrals especially for home decor because I feel like it's gonna work in everyone's home better that way so I'm happy I got this like natural beige color and just the black if there were variations, but I think there were. So this is called a borrow bowl. You can use this adorable bowl from Solo Hope is the name of the company that is producing them as a spot to drop your jewelry at the end of the day or as a new home for a succulent. I don't know that I would want to put like soil in there, but I guess you could because it's ceramic. We love Solo Hope and what they're doing for women in Honduras. Feeding families is so important right now, especially in third world countries where access to food and resources is so limited. By Anchor of Hope Box purchasing these beautiful bowls, this organization was able to feed not only their artisans, but the community that they live in as well. What a great way to support one another in times like these. So this is another item where I would definitely check it out in the shop because how cute would it be if you had like a little collection of them, like in different colors? I don't know if they come in different sizes, but that would be a really nice home decor piece. I think this is really classy and still has that like handmade, like ethnic feel to it without like, seeming a little bit like touristy, I guess. So this is awesome. I think this is really lovely. I'm just gonna put my little labyrinth game in there. And then finally is the piece de resistance for this uh, month, which is the jewelry piece. And let me just show it to you. And of course I am happy because it is in gold, even though I do wear every tone. And this is the necklace that I told you, you guys has these awesome all gold earrings and all gold cuff. Um, without this like embroidery detail that I love the set all together. So here it is. It's these like two metal half circles and then they've woven. It almost looks like, you know, like a dream catcher or something almost with these like beautiful, bright, vivid colors. It actually matches some earrings that I got in a in a Good Vibes Scribe box a while back. Same kind of like feel to it. So I think it is a longer necklace. It's definitely a statement piece. I almost want to put it like on a shorter chain and it's by Moda Traders, which is actually a, a company that I have gotten items from 
before, both in Globin and I think in Good Vibe Scribe, which is funny because I just just mentioned it. I wonder if that was where those earrings were from because they are in the same sort of colors. So here it is. I'm trying to <laughs> trying to find a way to hold it up to you guys. There you go. So you can see it. It probably showed up better on the card by itself, but it looks like it has a nice long but adjustable chain. So like I said, I almost wish it was on a shorter chain because I think it would look kind of nice up 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 higher. Um, but it would actually look really pretty. I'm wearing like this magenta dress right now, and I think it might actually look nice. I think I can actually put it on <laughs> with the uh, tag on. Might get a little caught up in my hair, but I would probably go a little bit longer, of course, but I will keep it up nice and high so that you guys can see it against the magenta dress. But that is actually really pretty. It's like kind of not my usual style, but I feel like the gold accents, the gold detail kind of elevates it and makes it look a little more luxe and a little like less handmade, but it is like, it's got like these very like skinny lines. So that's why I feel like it's not super too chunky for me and my personal aesthetic. So I actually really like that. Um, but like I said, I'm gonna have to invest in the bracelet and the earrings too. And they're not like too matchy matchy because they are just in metal and they don't have the embroidery. So I do like that. Let's read about this beautiful necklace. This beautiful necklace from Mata Traders is a tribute to the creative power in all of us. Mata Traders is a fair trade fashion brand helping to end global poverty and inspire consumers to change the fashion industry. Their original designs provide stable income for families in economically disadvantaged communities in India and Nepal and seek to inspire a sense of creativity and wanderlust. And then it just says in bold, matching earrings and bracelet are available on our website. And I think I actually took a quick look at them when I saw it over on Instagram. I'm trying to lean back for you guys so you can see it. And they were like really reasonably priced between like um, like 26 to $36, I think, for um, the earrings and then the bracelet like separately. So I'll have to decide which ones I want to invest in first. But I do think this necklace is really gorgeous. So another great box from Anchor of Hope. Obviously, this is my favorite item. I don't know. Actually, the bowl is really, really beautiful. I think that's really nice. I mean, this is not, there's not much to this, but I, it makes sense to me because the value of the necklace, which I'm sure the necklace by itself is probably like worth 30 to $36, which is the whole value of the box. And then we also got this awesome handmade bowl. So a, a good box. I think you're definitely getting the value. You can definitely feel good about the cause that you are supporting. Let me know what you guys think about this box, what your favorite item is in Anchor of Hope this month. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Help support my channel with those likes and comments. And hopefully I will see you all very, very soon in my next unboxing.